Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Reese. I'm a real estate agent with Edina Realty. My team name is Hoekstra and Reese. I'm the Reese part of that. Uh, I wanted to make these videos, uh, and it's going to be a YouTube-based show, not show, but uh, you, YouTube-based channel of how I became an agent, some of the things that bring me inspiration, some of the things that help me get over some hurdles in a typical real estate transaction, and hopefully some of those uh, will bring you some success in your own life if you're just getting started or if you're a veteran or anything like that. I am also open to any type of uh, communication. I love communicating online connecting with other people, uh, like-minded people, uh, even people that just kind of give a different perspective on what we do as agents, what we do as people, and how we can just be better community members. So let's go all the way back. Uh, I've been an agent for about seven years, a little over seven years now, um, all with the same company. But how I got started, uh, and I'm going to go back even further, is I was a mailman for about six and a half years. I worked six days a week, full-time, uh, never a day off besides Sundays because they didn't do deliveries on Sundays. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was good pay, but, uh, you know, the little guy on the totem pole, you don't get much, uh, uh, flexibility there. And, uh, November, October, November of 2012, they came to, uh, everybody on the floor and said, we're going to do some, uh, structural changes in the post office and everybody's going to get a pay raise and a promotion, uh, to the next level, which meant benefits for me, which couldn't have come at a better time, uh, because my wife was pregnant with our, uh, first child, Emma there. Um, at that point, and she was due in the middle of November. So it couldn't have come at a better time. Uh, wife was a teacher at that point, and I thought, great, this is this is awesome. Good way to end the year out of getting some stability, kind of uh, bringing this whole new adulting theme uh, together. So Christmas came and went. That was our busy season. And uh, January came along. Everybody, I saw everybody getting their uh, pay bumps, their promotions, everybody above me. Uh, until January 18th, 2013 comes along and says, Tyler, uh, everybody except your position uh, on there. And I thought, what? You know, and, and here, here's the kicker. You can keep your job and you can take a 63% pay cut or in 90 days you can try your luck elsewhere. Well, 63% pay cut, uh, what I'm, how I'm calculating that is all the overtime that I worked on, the, on my base pay, and then they were actually going to be lowering my pay uh, on that and then eliminating uh, any type of extra work on there. So 63% uh, uh, pay cut and do the same job. And at that point, they were actually thinking about eliminating Saturday deliveries uh, on there, which really meant uh, probably wouldn't have a job in the next six months anyway. But obviously that changed with Amazon at the post office. They're busier than ever now. And uh, But uh, at the time, it was pretty grim. I had a two-month-old baby. They said, you know, you can take all this money and, and do the same job, same stress, same work, uh, or you can try your luck elsewhere. Uh, so uh, we had a big uh, um, conversation with my, my wife and said, what are we going to do? I didn't have time to go back to school. Um on there. So I knew I had a deadline of 90 days. And I thought, you know what, uh, I always wanted to be in real estate. And uh, more importantly, I wanted to be into something where the harder I worked, the more I was rewarded, uh, full on, like full on, you know, the harder I worked, uh, the more I was rewarded. We're at the post office, the harder you work, the more work of others you got to do, and they didn't have to do as much. So that was very, very frustrating as a uh, someone that's driven, and kind of that that puts their uh, their head down and just just goes to work. Uh, so I signed up for some online classes to get my Minnesota real estate license. And uh, the 90 days came and went. And uh, on my last day, it was kind of funny, the, the manager comes up to me and says, well, hey, do you think you could take some uh, extra splits off of Larry? And I just laughed at him. I just laughed at him. I said, absolutely not. Uh, you know, Larry was one of the guys that just kind of drug his toes and was just kind of a, a pain in the ass for a lot of people uh, on there. And I just said, nope, you know, as soon as I'm done, I'm done. I, I don't care about the extra hour of work that I might get. Uh, I, I knew I, I, there's a path in front of me that uh, was being laid down, and I knew I wanted to get out of there as, as soon as possible. So I got my license, got turned on. I ended up interviewing with uh, a bunch of different brokerages and uh, ultimately ended up choosing the one that was closest to my house uh, and, and the one that had most notoriety around our area. Um, I did interview several different brokers and offices uh, on here. Um, 
at the request of my agent that helped me buy my house. Uh, but I ultimately chose the one that was closest to me geographically. Uh, and I can't be more thankful for that uh, kind of strike of the luck right there. So uh, I get started, and uh, within my first week, you know, you do all your background stuff of, you know, get your new, uh, uh, setting up your email, setting up your sphere, and, you know, kind of all the boring, mundane things. Uh, I had this, uh, you know, old-time agent that we've seen his name around, and I remember him from doing a magic show when I was in the third or fourth grade. He came in and, and did that, but he invited me along on an appointment, listing appointment with him. And uh, I didn't know him before uh, at, the, at all, but uh, I knew that he was the number one agent, very respected in the community, very respected in the real estate industry. Uh, he invited me along on a listing appointment. So I, I agreed. I think, you know, I'm going to take every opportunity that I can. I didn't get into this to have a handout, but you know what? If there's a track already down there to run, I'm going to run on it. So I saw it as an opportunity. I said yes. We started driving to the appointment, and he goes, well, your job, you don't have a speaking role. And I kind of laugh at that now because, uh, well, I, I wouldn't want a, a brand-new rookie agent speaking uh, at an opportunity for a commission either. So he goes, what your job is is to critique me. And I thought, what? You know, I'm, I'm still wet behind the ears in the real estate industry. Uh, but, okay, I'm, I'm going to do that. And we took the, re, uh, the listing appointment. Um, I watched, I observed, I listened, I took notes. Uh, he prepped the seller and everything saying, Hey, this is a new rookie agent. Uh, just want to show him the ropes. You know, he'll be observing us right now. Uh, and it, it, it worked out well. So, uh, we get done and, uh, he, we're driving home. He goes, well, what could I have done better? I, I wasn't really, uh, um, prepared for that question. And so I told him, uh, there's one thing that I noticed uh, that he said that really made the seller go, ooh, you know, just kind of wince. And, and I told him that. I said, you know, I probably wouldn't have used that um, if you knew anything about the seller, you know, on there. Maybe uh, it's kind of sensitive um, on there. And I will tell you that story uh, later on what he said and why I think, yeah, you got to watch what you say sometimes uh uh, in a listing appointment and a buyer appointment, anytime you meet new people. But that one is a, a is a fun story. So that that kind of uh, starts how I got started, um, and then how I uh, met my mentor friend uh, Al Hoekstra on there. So he seemed impressed that uh, a brand new rookie agent actually gave him uh, a critique on there, where most would just kind of uh, him and ha and not come up with anything. He invited me on several more appointments. Um, I did speak out of turn one time, and apparently that was uh, it was helpful to the conversation. He ended up getting uh, the listing, and it's just kind of developed ever since. Uh, he's been the number one agent for a long time here in our local market uh, until a few years ago where uh, I took overtook him, and he was number two then. Um, so I'm grateful for that, grateful for the mentorship, uh, which I think is very important for somebody, a new agent or any agent that wants to take their business to the next level uh, for um, success. So I want to keep these kind of uh, short, maybe 10 minutes or less, but that is in a nutshell how I got started in real estate. And what I am going to do is I'm going to talk about some of the ups and downs and some of the things that have given me inspiration. I have the luxury of having 40 years of industry knowledge, tidbits of information uh, from a personal journal uh, from my mentor that I'm going to go over and talk about how that has affected my real estate business. Uh, and I'll probably sprinkle in some of the ups and downs of uh, what we're going through now, currently uh, in those. So maybe these might get uh, longer than um, eight, 10 minutes, but uh, maybe up to 15. So I do encourage you to um, like and subscribe, and I hope this brings you some value. Again, uh, I just love having the conversation with some like-minded people of maybe we can help each other out. Uh, I'm located uh, just out of the Twin Cities here in Minnesota. Again, never mind the mess behind me, and I hope to hear from you soon. And I'm looking forward to dropping the next um, time we talk. All right, have a great one.